Good morning. This is Data Explorer's daily video briefing for Wednesday, the 18th of March, and I'm Jessica Johnson. Intercontinental Hotels Group PLC met expectations with its four year results yesterday. It said a sharp deterioration in fourth quarter trading accelerated in January, and it sees no improvement in sight. The operator of Holiday Inn and Crown Plaza Hotels, listed in London, has seen a large amount of short covering, down from 9% of its shares on loan to just 5% now, between the last three months. IHG's share price has fallen from 800p to September in September to 500p now. Previous to these figures, the percentage of shares on loan rose from 5% in late May um, to 10% during July and August. With investors coming to the trade as the share price began to drop from the 800p figure mentioned down to 600p within the space of a month. That was um, June the 4th to July the 2nd as the percentage of shares on loan started to increase. This graph that you can see here traces the percentage of IHG shares on loan during the last year. It is the opposite story for the S&P 500 listed Starwood Hotels and Resorts Worldwide, um, where the shares outstanding on loan have risen from 2 to 10% over the last year, and in particular up from 6% last November. This is combined with a fall in share price down from $50 to $12 over the last 12 months. The hospitality company Winds and Worldwide Core, also listed on the S&P 500, have seen, like Inter- Intercontinental Hotels Group, who I mentioned at the beginning, um, some, uh, a significant amount of short covering, down from 6% of its shares on loan in September to 2% now, but previously up from 4% in February 2008. The company's share price has fallen from $25 to $5 since April last year. Finally, I'm going to move on to casinos now, and Ameristar Casinos, um, listed on the Russell 2000, um, which is an operator of casino facilities in local and regional markets, um, um, who are down 7%, or who were down 7% in Tuesday's trading, um, have also seen a significant amount of short covering, down from 10% in August to 5% now but previously up from 1% in February 2007 to 8% in May 2008. Like these other stocks, the company's share price has decreased from $35 in November 2007 to $10 now, and between April and September of 2008, 80% of Ameristar's stock that was available for borrowing, or the utilisation percentage, was out on loan to short investors. For more information, please visit our website, dataexplorers.com, Thanks very much and have a great day.